Welcome to the Vuzik podcast, video number 13. We're going to take a quick look at wave sequencing with Vuzik station. I'm going to load my initial preset. Then I, I'm going to go to my sound sets folder. And I'm going to use some basic waveform so it's easier for us to hear what, what I'm doing. I'm going to disable my layer, my first layer, and I'm going to enable layer W1. And I'm going to load the sawtooth. And I'm going to here at number one, I can select up to 32 sounds I can use with the wave sequencing. So I'm going to select the second slot, and I'm going to load the pulse, and the third slot, and I'm going to load a noise. Then I can edit, click here to edit the wave sequencer, or I can just click with my right click to go directly to the wave sequencing editor. So far I only hear the first wave sound, that's the sound of. So I have to, to select sound set here to edit my steps. I'm going to add just four, I'm going to add eight steps. So it's a rhythm step. Is one, sixteen, eight, four, just to keep it on a rhythmic go. Uh, let me select here one, one, eight. So I have beats per minute, one, eight, and I'm going to select sound one, sound two, sound three, sound two, sound one, sound two sound 3 and sound 2 so i have i have selected a different sound for each of the wave sequencing step let me haste the volume here very easy to, to hear. So using one fourth and I can also crossfade from one sound to the other. I'm going to do some crossfading and here I'm not crossing. So you can use some cross -fading. I can also adjust pitch and time. I can use a different time, for instance, if I want one of, of the sounds to, s to last longer. I'm going to use 10, I'm going to use just one. <laughs> You can also adjust other things like panning, FX sending, volume. Let's start try tuning. So I can do some different wave sequencing here. And I'm not going to show all the wave sequencer options. I'm just showing here some basic options. And in a future tutorial, I'm going to go into more advanced options for the wave sequencer. So that's it for this video. Thank you.